it's really hard to say, I, you know, which one I love the most. You know, I'm grateful to have had success in all three. And I'm very grateful for what my books have been able to do. Well, speaking of dabbling in this and that, uh, you have a degree in design from Parsons uh, and photography. So you you know you you've got design going for you. You're qualified to be a writer. You're qualified to be a photographer. Uh, had you not, uh, I mean, if you could put away your success as a writer, between the three, uh, the the between the the three disciplines, which is the one that's really closest to your heart. You know, it's, it's really hard to choose because when I was in design, I really loved it. You know, I think I loved the collaboration that was in all these projects. You know, I, I produced a lot of coffee table books for, mm -hmm. for the big publishers and I specialize in, in celebrity books. So for example, I, I did a book for Elizabeth Taylor, the actress mm -hmm. called My Love Affair of Jewelry, which was this amazing book that was all about her amazing, you know, legendary jewelry collection. Um, and that was so much fun to be able to, you know, deal with the photographers, to go into archives mm -hmm. and look up all these amazing pictures of her jewels, to handle her jewels, you know, oh. and then to work with the writers and the designers. Like, I loved being part of a creative team, and mm -hmm. I still do. And it's something I miss because, as you know, as you well know, writing is a very solitary sport, you know. Yeah. We, we sit in a corner in a room. We have to have silence. Mm -hmm. You can't do it socially. No. Um, so I do love getting lost in a story, you know, I love mm. the sort of, that sort of hallucinatory aspect mm. of when you spend hours and it seems like just minutes, you know, right. when you're finding a story. Um, right. and then of course the other part of me as a photographer, you know, I did a lot of, um, travel based work. So I would do these projects that were based all around the world, you know, so one of my projects oh. is called Night Gardens, for example. So I would photograph um, botanical gardens in the middle of the night in Norway in Thailand in the Caribbean. That is so interesting. Yeah. So a lot of my work involved, you know, sort of traveling and, 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 you know, working that muscle. So I, it's really hard to say, I, you know, which one I love the most, you know, I'm grateful to have had success in all three and I'm very grateful for what my books have been able to do. If you've enjoyed the conversation that you just heard, do subscribe to our channel for much more.